Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com In this video I'm going to show you how you can get your machine ready to run Windows 11 There's also a PC health checker to uh, do the, that checks your machine is um, ready for Windows 11 which we'll look at at the end of the video uh, Windows 11 is coming soon and uh, you can upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 so I'm going to show you all the steps you can take to make sure that upgrade works well I'm not going to show you the upgrade process I've got a separate video of that this is just how to get your machine ready and there's a few things you can do and they're all common sense things but I thought I'd show you anyway running here on my virtual machine so the first step I would do is make sure your machine is actually up to date with Windows updates it sounds um, obvious but it's something that's worth checking because uh, Windows 11 will probably be uh, available through Windows Update, but before you can get that, you need to be up to date. So head over to Settings, go to Update and Security, and then um, check for updates. And my virtual machine hasn't been checked for a, a couple of weeks, so we may find something on here. This is running uh, on the Windows Insider program, so I'm running on the beta channel at the moment, but uh, Windows 11 isn't uh, available here yet, so. Uh, let me get this up to speed and that's our first job okay as you can see here I've got a cumulative update and an update for the .NET framework and the antivirus signature update as well so first job get these going and it's worth doing these because sometimes they can take a while and require a reboot and everything else so I'll set these going and then this machine will want to reboot but we can come back to that later so the other thing you can be doing as well um, is making sure all your app your store apps are up to date this isn't as important but it's worth doing anyway just go to the uh, Microsoft Store and then uh, you can check for updates and make sure they're all up to date so I can go to downloads and updates and do um, get updates and get this going as well so these uh, can get updated I'm pretty sure that the uh, apps from the Windows 11 will be uh, potentially new versions or updated versions anyway, but it's worth doing that. So I've just gone back, flick back to the Windows update, and you can see there's those are, are now downloading, so I'll leave them running. This is also a good opportunity to get rid of anything that you no longer need and then we're going to look at clearing some disk space so again this is in settings uh, so we can leave this running on, on here so we can go to apps and features and you can see all the things you've installed and it could be you've installed all sorts of things over time that you no longer need and uh, because this is a virtual machine I've actually got very little on here that needs uh, uninstalling so uh, but from this list you can go there and this is quite handy because you can sort this by size as well so here's my list of applications and I can actually sort this by size now this is a virtual machine so I've not installed a lot of things on here but if you do it by size you can see the applications that are taking up the most space and then perhaps remove those or you can do it by installation date so you can see uh, what you installed well or when and in alphabetical order so it could be that um, you know, I've decided I don't I no longer need um, one of these applications and can get rid of it now these are all the system applications but it could be that you've installed something it could be you, you know, iTunes or something like that that you no longer use so it's a good opportunity to to get that cleaned up now while we're in this area it's also this is um, a good opportunity to clear up your disk you need to make sure you've got um, uh, you want at least between 8 and 16 gig minimum mi I'm, I'm guessing around 16 gig of uh, space I think it will get down to 8 but uh, you want plenty of space when you install a new version of Windows and it could be you've got some old version of Windows that you, you, you can actually get rid of as well so if you go to storage Microsoft have got this usual setting here where you can really see what's using all your storage so I've just flicked over to my file explorer and you can see I've actually got a windows.old which is from a previous build uh, and uh, we can make sure we get all this cleaned up uh, before we start on the new version so windows is using 16.9 gig of space temporary files we've got uh, nearly 9 gig then the apps and features and others so and OneDrive and so on so if you had um, 
something taking up loads of space this is a good place where you can see it so this is uh, definitely a good way of seeing where your uh, hard drive space is being used up so this is now going to scan to see what it can get rid of in terms of temporary files so here you can see it's scanned through hard disk it's picked up on some temporary files that it can get rid of um, I might as well enter the recycle bin as well see that windows the old folder that I was talking about this is the previous version now you may want to keep this because you can use this to roll back uh, to a previous version of windows so if, it, if there was something wrong with this particular uh, build that I had I could roll back to the previous one with that via that windows the old and windows handles all that for you if you get rid of it obviously you can't do that but if you're going from a stable machine and you're going to go to test windows 11 then I can Guess you could actually, you can do this, I'm going to do this because I can get rid of that because I'm not going to be rolling it back to a previous version of Windows 10. I'm going to Windows 11 and I may have issues with that and roll back to this version that I'm currently running. So I can actually save myself 9 gig by getting rid of that. So just be aware that if you're doing that, it gives you, it, it, you remove the chance to roll back to a previous version of Windows 10. But um, in my case, I'm happy with this and I'm ready to move forward. So I'm going to clean that up as well. Okay, so that's going to save me 9 gigs. So that, that could be the difference between being able to install the the uh, Windows 11 or, or not. So that's okay, that's okay. So I can remove that and uh, continue. Like I said, I've I'm now losing the ability to roll back to a previous version of Windows 10, but that doesn't matter in this case. And of course, if you're you run it on a test machine, then you shouldn't be using this on a live machine that's sort of critical files on it. I'm talking of files, one thing you can make sure you do as well is make sure you've got OneDrive up and running. If you've got a Microsoft account, which you can make sure that uh, OneDrive is up and running. And I store all my files in OneDrive, so um, using OneDrive means that the files are in the cloud. So um, I can have my files on OneDrive and not in the local documents. But there are some other options as well with OneDrive. So that OneDrive gives you the comfort to know that they're all in the cloud so if you have to rebuild this machine you can just drag them all back down again. It doesn't back up applications but it does do your files. You've got the option of backing up your desktop documents and pictures so I know that um, if this machine gets wiped out I can always go back to that as well and um, that's the great thing about OneDrive. So I've got OneDrive up and running um, I'm cleaning up some space I've tidied up my old apps. I've gone to the Windows, uh, to the Microsoft Store, and made sure everything's up to date. That's just uh, finishing off that update. And once this uh, has finished clearing my space, the next thing I'm going to do is check the progress of Windows updates, and then I think we're almost ready for Windows 11. Okay, so that's finished. So that's cleaned up my uh, disk. You can see the Windows to old folders gone. Uh, let's go and check on the updates. Okay, so uh, you can see that I've got the cumulative updates to install, and uh, it's already downloaded them, so I can install that. So that's going to need uh, installing and then a reboot. And I think I'm about ready to go. So I've got my disk uh, freed up. I know I've got my important files backed up in the cloud. I've got Windows updates up to date and the apps up to date. So I think I'm just about ready for Windows 11 now. So this is the PC Health Checker that checks whether your machine can run Windows 11. I'm running it here on my service laptop so you get a bit of your specs up on here. Uh, many of the things that I was talking about earlier, your Windows, your, uh, your backup and your syncing with OneDrive, your Windows update is all up to date and it checks your storage and everything else. So all the kind of things that I've been talking about or in this tool and it does a check so you just hit that check now and that will check to see whether you can run uh, Windows 11 which uh, this one can perfectly find so I don't think there'll be that many machines that don't if you ha if you do come with this you'll be a lack of storage space or something like that so you can get that um, from Microsoft and I'll include a link on the thedislifestyle.com for that or you can just google for PC Health Checker Windows 11 so this will need restarting once these in, uh, updates are finished and then it's ready to go. Uh, I've got a separate video uh, I'll 
I'm going to do a separate video on how to install Windows 11, so look out for that. You can get it on our YouTube channel, you subscribe, or uh, you can like it, or follow me on Twitter at iStix, and we're going to be talking about Windows 11 and all the great stuff that's coming from there. But here's how to get your machine ready for Windows 11. Thanks for watching this video.